going to do a, really a, a fun variation, and it's pretty nasty arm lock too, but also is a, a hole bound, osakome, a pin situation, and we always called it the, the German pin. And it would be a variation of, uh, of uh, I don't know, Tate Shihogatami or whatever, something. It, it really is a unique thing, and the reason we call it German pin, because the first time I saw it, there was a German guy doing it. Okay, so I said, eh, it's a German pin, so we just tamed it that, so <laughs> I'm not real bright, so that was the, that's the best name I could give it. But we're going to put it together with an arm lock. We've been doing Udigarami from the bottom, okay, and we've been doing turns, okay. So we're going to combine some things now. I'm going to turn over to Derek here, because this is really a, a neat move. Uh, it's not a beginner move, it's not a beginner level move, but it certainly is a move that uh, once you get to the point where you're very comfortable with the bent arm lock, udigarami, arm entanglement, and you can sweep from here to go with this. So it's a nice, a nice extra, okay? Maybe not for everybody, but if you got it, you got it, you'll make them tap. So without further ado, go ahead. So uh, back to the earlier point that, that we want to treat this like it's a, a lifeline. So once I get this in nice and tight and I've got his shoulder in my chest, I've got him chicken wing, one hand grip on the his wrist, one hand grip on my wrist, okay? I want to, to keep a good grip on this because whichever position we end up in, I can still finish. I just need to know which configuration we're in. As soon as it starts going out here or I let go one piece of it, I've got to reestablish that grip, I've got to bring it back into position, and then I've got to finish. So if I keep this as my focal point, I'm always going to be able to finish from whichever position we land in. In this case, I've sat up and I'm going to go for the sweep. We flip them over, and here's where a lot of people get in trouble. They can finish from here, okay? They can finish from here, okay? But they have a little bit more trouble when they're in a Tate Shiho or mount type of position because in order to stay here, they're, they're in a, a three-point stance, elbow and knees. And when they, they try and lift up, it's like, you know, I can't crank it behind there because I'm, I'm using my hands to, to keep my, or to support my weight. So there's two ways to get around this. And the first one is we start by posting on our head. Okay, that gives us a, a moment before we actually put the, the German pin part on him. So I'm gonna put my, my head down on the, the mat and then I'm gonna step around his head, okay? Post on the, the mat, step around the head, and grab, okay? Don't just stick your foot there, grab his head. Now, all I have to do is just start sliding his wrist that way. Okay. Now he comes over and that knee, that leg over the head tightens up there. Go ahead and do your thing, Derek. Now if you can get down there low, as I say. Now can you see how the head posting and he's squeezing with his leg on his head, on Mike's head, and he's cranking as he does that. See how he does that? Okay. Can everybody come over here and see this? You want to come around here and take a look at this. Look at the, look at the arm action. He's still got good control of that wrist, right? Good. See how so, you dragged it in there? Being on the, the tripod of my two knees and then my head, and also controlling his head with my leg, gives me the ability, just an inch or two, to be able to slide that, that arm underneath. And that's really all I need. I, I pretty much locked his shoulder down, so I just need a little tiny bit to push, okay? And again, I'm pulling up the shoulder that way, and I'm pushing the wrist back the other way. So with his left hand, this hand is coming up off the mat slightly, and look what he does with his other hand then. So he pulls it in. See that? Just drags up. it in like that. In. And okay. that hurts. It hurts the shoulder and elbow. Mm -hmm. So that's how, you know, the, the three points that I usually say with the bent arm lock is, you know, shoulder and chest, chicken wing, you know, bring it in nice and tight like this so it's not 90 degrees, and then paint his knuckles across the mat. And it doesn't matter what com configuration you're in, you're still trying to do that. So lift up, paint the knuckles. Okay, one more time we'll through. through and so then we'll practice everybody. So watch this. Okay, wrap up, sweep. Okay, step over, really grip that hand. If you can, you can bring your foot into his armpit. You're good? Good. All right. Now, you newer guys, you don't want to practice this pretty bad.